Good morning. Today is Sunday. It's a beautiful day. The weather is gorgeous. And I have a few fun things planned today, so I thought I would take you along. Do you want to come? All right, let's go. Hi, let's go. Woo. All right, let's take a look at our weather forecast today. Today's forecast a lot of sunshine, blue skies, marine clouds. Just a perfect day to go outside and relax. That's your forecast. We'll be right back. Yeah, sunny day, sunny day, sunny days. No clouds in the sky, but again, a way feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call me cause I'm gonna be on break. Sunny day, sunny day, make way. All the stress and doubt, yeah, not today. Feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call me cause I'm gonna be on break. Got the tropical, a fresh car sushi on a platter, ready, honey, it don't matter. So as you saw this morning, I went to my local art store and I bought a few art supplies. I wanted to show you what I got exactly. So first, 
I got a little jar. Next week's supposed to be really nice weather-wise. So I'm thinking I'll probably go uh, to the park and do some painting and I needed a little jar um, for my water and things, which I could use any regular jar, but actually all the jars I have, I lost a lot of the lids, so <laughs> this will work perfect. Then I got a little sketchbook. I wanted kind of a small format to be able to take with me and uh, try things on like a smaller scale maybe. Then I got some um, watercolor paper, which I might use for watercolor, but I'm thinking of using it just because I'm gonna be working more with acrylic gouache. So I need a paper that's gonna withstand, you know, paint and things. And I haven't tried this brand, but a friend of mine recommended it. So I think that will be interesting. Then I got a couple brush pens from um, Sakura. It's those micron pens I use all the time. And my brush pen was on its last leg. I had it for many years. So I really needed um, a new one. So I got two, that way I have extra. And then finally I got some acrylic gouache. So this is Holbein acrylic gouache. And I got the primary color, so the yellow, cyan, and magenta. Instead of getting like separate colors, I was thinking I'd just get the primary colors and then make my own color palette, which is something I wanna work on in the coming week. And yeah, so that's, that's what I got.
So ever since I drew the peonies over here, I've been wanting to do a matching drawing for this uh, frame. So, but I didn't want to do necessarily peonies, just something in the same style and the same color paper. So I drew, as you saw, some uh, wild roses, but I'm thinking I need to add a few more details to the roses. Um, yeah, they're a little bit flat right now. So it's Monday morning and <laughs> I'm here because I didn't get to close the vlog last night when I finished painting in my sketchbook. As you saw the very fast time lapse, uh, it was getting pretty late. Let me show you real quick. So this is the drawing. This was inspired by a photo I saw on Instagram of old pine trees growing through a cabin that was falling apart. Um, I thought that was kind of a cool Thing. and then I use flowers as the sky to make it look like it's more part of a dream and I really like the greens um, I don't know if I would have uh, done those trees a different color maybe um, yeah but something fun I think I'm pretty happy how my style is evolving and I'm feeling like I'm having a little bit of a breakthrough lately so yeah I'm gonna close the vlog here. Thank you for spending some time with me and watching the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, comment, share the video with your friends and I'll see you next week. Bye!